going on guys welcome back to another video and in this tutorial i'm going to be teaching you guys how to create this glass shatter effect instead of after effects all right so i have this clip of this car right here and what i'm going to do first is just go ahead and rotoscope scope out the car so to do that you want to go up to the rotor brush and just select the car so it should open up a new panel or like a new composition that you can work in and you just want to outline the car with your rotor brush here and make sure that your rotor brush is outlining your whole entire car so i'm going to go and fix up some of the parts here that it messed up on and yeah just fix up the first frame and once you have the first frame all outlined and it's looking good you just want to go frame by frame making sure that it doesn't mess up at all you can see that it kind of drifts off right here so we can go ahead and fix that but yeah you just want to go frame by frame using your arrow key and just make sure that everything looks good all right so i just went through all of the frames so what i'm going to do is hit this freeze button so it freezes all the frames and now that that's done we can just close our layer and now that we're in our main composition you can see that we now have the car rotoscoped out so what we want to do is duplicate this layer uh two times so hit ctrl d on your keyboard twice one two and on the very bottom you just want to delete that rotor brush so that we have the rotor brush on the top two here and on this middle layer right here you want to pre-compose it so right click on it hit pre-compose make sure you do the move all attributes into the new composition and then just make sure that this is checked on hit okay and now what you want to do is right click on it and time and freeze frame and now that that's freeze framed you can see that that layer is just frozen so it's not moving at all or anything which is what we want and what you want to add to this middle layer is an effect called shatter let's just drag that into our effects controls there and what you want to turn on is rendered view and for this uh pattern you want to make sure it's on glass so now when you play that back you can already see the shatter like starting to take place there so now we just got to change a few more settings for this effect right here for the repetitions i like to keep that at 25 you can mess with that change it around to what you like but i just think 25 works best now for the extrusion depth i like to keep this at 0.06 and open up the force one and we're going to change a few things in here for the radius change that to 0.5 and the strength change that to one and for the physics here we're going to change the gravity to 0.03 and the gravity direction to zero and then for our lighting here we want to change the light position to be around the sky here so as you can see I'm moving around this like a little point so i'm just moving that towards is kind of the bright area sky there and for the ambient light i'm going to make that 0.4 and for the material i'm going to change this diffuse reflection to 1.2 and that's everything that you want to change for that so now when we play this back you can see that it shatters and it's just like in the middle of the car here and what i want to do is keep it like more above it so like have the shatter take place above the car not in like the center of it so what you want to do is just double click on that layer that we pre-composed and it'll go back to this like uh just car that we had freeze framed here and what we want to do is just move that position up here so i'm just going to bring it pretty high up there's the sky so when we go back to the other composition here you can see that the shatter is now above the car here and the reason why i freeze framed this is so that we can move this around so like the shatter takes place right here at the start and then we can drag this out to fit the whole entire composition so that's looking super cool i really like how that's looking right now and what you can do is mess with the light intensity here if you want it to be brighter you can just mess with this and like change it depending on your scene or whatever but i think i'm going to keep it back to like one maybe one point three or something something around there you guys can mess with that kind of see what you like but yeah this is looking good so far if you want you could honestly just keep it like this have like the car as the shatter here i don't know it could look cool but what i'm going to do for this tutorial is show you guys what i used instead i used an effect called fill so I'll just drag that into the shatter here and you want to make sure the fill is above the shatter so that the shatter is actually affecting the fill so there you go you can now see that the color is applied to the different shattered pieces there and i'm just going to change this to like a light blue of the car and I match it so we're just going to do something like that and I'm going to go back into the shatter and change that light down to one because that 1.3 was too strong for this but yeah let's just go back into this color kind of mess with that now as you can see it's more of like a glass type of color which looks super cool what you can do to make it look even more realistic is to lower this opacity here so we can do like 80 so now as you can see you can kind of see the trees in the background and stuff like that we can lower that down to like 75 if we want now when you play that back it's more like transparent so yeah that's pretty much it that's how you create this shatter effect for these car edits now you can't mess with all the effects in the shatter here like none of these settings have to be just like what they are and what i told you to put them at so like you can go back into like the force here change the position here to something that uh, looks cool for your video like we can mess with this and as you can see when we play this back 
you know, it kind of like rises up as the video plays. So we can move it to like the left or something. And then we can also mess with the repetitions here. I have even more shatters. So crazy. We can do like 50. So we have tons of glass particles there. So yeah, just really go ahead and mess with this. Have fun with it. See what you guys can create with it. And yeah, hopefully this video helped you guys out and you learned something new with this shatter effect and everything. Maybe you can apply the shatter effect to different uh, video clips or whatever. But yeah, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out.